impacts today. The Universal Tool 8165R composite pistol grip impact wrench. And we're also going to look at the AirCat stubby impact wrench, half inch drive, under the nit NitroCat brand. Both tools are half inch drive. And when we say half inch drive, we're talking about the business end and the size of the square drive on each tool. When we talk about retaining mechanisms, this one we say is a ring retainer because you can see a ring on the end of the tool. The other option would be a pin type retainer. So it's a pin type retainer in the side of a square anvil that'll essentially lock that socket into place when that pin drops into the hole in the socket. Typically you'll see this in an industrial environment, pretty much driven by OSHA. When you look at the ring type retainer, it is friction. So based on just pushing the unit on into the back end of the socket, you can see it slides on and it's somewhat locked into place. Some of the disadvantages after extended use, you can actually see the difference in these two anvils. You can see the worn corners all the way around and the ring is actually worn. So that creates a danger. Number one, it becomes sloppy in the socket. So you're getting extra play and you're gonna to lose torque and power output. The other issue is, this is a pretty heavy socket. If that drops into your work or onto somebody's foot, it can really do some damage. You can see how it drops off. So the key is to always maintain proper sockets and anvils with the friction ring retainers. So let's go ahead and install that and give it a run. It has a speed dial on the back end of the tool. Really acts as more of an air regulator to give you different power outputs. Larger dot gives you the most power. It's a one finger operated forward reverse. So you don't have to pick the tool off the work in order to put it into a different rotation. Ergonomic finger grip and then the exhaust at the bottom of the tool. This is similar to some of the other products we looked at where it needs to be greased, this hammer mechanism, and you can see the zerk fitting in the front end of that tool. Let's talk about the air cap while it's here, a little stubby. You'll see the same zerk fitting. You'll see a composite housing similar to the UT, ergonomic style grip with a little finger curl at the end. Palm swell on the back to make it a little bit more comfortable in your hand. Exhaust out the bottom. And then the trigger is actually where we locate the forward reverse button, as well as the power settings in the dial, settings one, two, or three. So that's the AirCat stubby. So let's go ahead and run them. So I know the tool's in forward rotation, just to double check. Always start your bolt or nut so you don't cross thread. I'll go ahead and just hit reverse. This tool actually puts out 1,190 foot-pounds in reverse, 800 foot-pounds in forward rotation. So this is really an excellent tool for the mechanic. Let's look at the Mini. So same situation with the retainer and the socket. I'll go ahead and connect it. Go ahead and put the socket on. You can see the difference. This is a great tool for tight quarter work. 
It's not gonna be as loud, but it also doesn't carry as much power. 500 foot-pounds in forward or reverse. It should be in forward. It is. Go ahead and set it on the work. We'll go ahead and set it in reverse. And you can see how that works. So let me go ahead and show you the uh, power settings. Right now it's on maximum. Let me set it down to one and you can hear the difference. You can hear the difference.